pinatagoyot ko ang saligang batas ng partido na kung saan di parte hindi lang kayo makikila sa buong Pilipinas makikilala tayo sa buong mundo na inalahal, inalahal bilang kasapi ng Partido Federal ng Pilipinas ay sumusumpa na inataguyod ko ang saligang batas ng partido na kung saan nakalahad ang aking paniniwala at paninindigan para sa kalayaan. Pagkakaisa, katarungan, pagkapantay-pantay at pananagutan panglipunan. Kasarinian, mabisang pagkilos, pangmakabayang federalismo. Susundin ko ang alituntunit at patakarang ipatutupad ng mga kinukulang pamunuan ng partido. Itatagoyot ko at makikiisa sa mga pagkilos ng partido. Ialay ko ang aking sarili sa masalimuot ngunit kinakailangan tungkulit para sa ikaunlad ng bawat mamayanan ng Pilipino at sa kalayaan ng bayan. Lahat ng ito ay aking itiatanggap ng kusang loob at walang pasubali. Kasi na nawa ko ng may kamatid. Maraming salamat. Yung mga mayor, mag-lecture muna ko ha. Hindi nyo pa alam kung ito yung federalismo. Baka nga lang yung federal hardware. Okay. So I'm going to give the other mayors here the pamphlet on federalism. Okay? Mayor? Pwede po ba? Oh. Masayin niyo po yan. Congrats. 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 Anyway, uh, we'd like to welcome you to the Partido Federal of Filipinas. This is for short history. The Partido Federal of Filipinas was uh, I founded this. There were five of us who founded this party. Jen Sam started with that. Yung tatlo na matay na, dalawa na lang nabubuhay. Ako, at saka si Over and Dan. Yan yeah, ang si Over and Dan. So he's the Vice President for Political Affairs. So in uh, 2018, I registered this together with uh, the General Counsel, Attorney Charles Briones, Sakomelec, to be approved as a new national political party of the Republic of the Philippines. And so it was, uh, that was October 5, 2018. Now, it's almost four years old. You know? So when uh, then Senator, now President BPM, joined the party, we were only three years old. 18, 19, 21, and uh, I did that volunteer to go to him. He called for me. Because I was a security officer when he was studying Green Hills. And I was the close in security of the father, Ferdinand Marcos Sr. When he was president. I was president. 
So when he called for me, uh, he said, uh, isang oras na kami nag-uusap eh. Ko. Hindi ko pa rin alam kung bakit siya ang pinatawag. Sa Nara, 41 na ang isang pulasyon. Sabi niya, General, matikas ka. Sabi niya, nagkasakit ka ba? Ang COVID, sabi. Hindi po. Sabi ko rin na for vomit. I call him vomit. Vomit yun eh. Sabi, nagkasakit ako. Nakuha ko sa Spain. Nagkasakit ako. Gano'n ako ang mga stomachs. Sabi niya, ang nakagaling sa akin yung asay para nga the medicine is yung lingwa, yung lingwa, Chinese. Hmm. Sabi niya, daw na ako ng lingwa, may ayot ako. Ikaw, nagkasakit ka, hindi po. Sabi ko, gano'n ito. Anong sikreto mo? Sabi ko, para din po ako ng misis ko, hindi ako makalabas. Sabi ko, yun yun, di ba? So anyway, after that, sabi ko, after one hour, Ano ba ang offensive po ko? Being the close and security of the President of the Republic? Offense ba yun? Duty yun eh, sa armed forces eh. Di ba? Because my offense was the close and security of the President. I was there from the road. So anyway, Bongen and the family of course were in Hawaii. Kami naman yung Presidente Kohang ko. Nasa LA kami. Si Presidente kasama ko eh. Ang Miguel. Under surveillance kami palagi ng FBI, araw-araw. So anyway, after one hour, sabi ko, Mr. Senator, ba't mo ko pinatawag? Sabi niya, I read your constitution and bylaws, I read your core principles of federalism, and I will join the party. Sabi ko, I will join. Sabi ko, you are from the Nationalist Party. I will partake the federal and only three years old. Sabi niya, oo nga, sabi niya, three years old lang ang partido natin. Natin na, hindi na yung partida nyo. Natin. And when I join the party, hindi lang kayo makikilala sa buong Pilipinas. Makikilala tayo sa buong mundo. That's what happened. We have 86 chapters all over the world. Napasumpa ko sila through Zoom. Alam niyo ba? Sila, di ba? Why? Di ba yung time zone? Time zone sa United Arab Emirates, Australia, Hong Kong, America, and Europe. Even in Moscow, we have 9,000 Filipinos there who are members of the party of the United States. So with the last election, the opposite Filipino workers, the President from Womack was 1.7 million votes. In Hong Kong alone, in the first exit polls, Vivian got 3,685. And of course, uh, we'd like to thank the Vice Governor. And I was talking to Secretary Puts uh, Oakland in our first visit to Jakarta. I think the Puts, Doktor naman ako, this is naman sa Partido Pedro, wala ka naman ina-appoint siya naman. Malang Department of Migrant Workers. Sabi, hindi na, pag-usapan natin sa ano. Sa Pedro na tayo sila. Then of course, when I made a courtesy call to the USWD, Erwin Tuko. Erwin Tuko was a journalist, no? Saan mo yung Karen Davila, sa King Kibayun sa English again. And I was with the Philippine National Police. He was the journalist there covering us with Secretary Ndoy.